This is Chicago's very own WGN Evening News at 4. Smoke from wildfires in Canada fills the air over Chicago right now, giving us the worst air quality in the world. Good afternoon, I'm Ben Bradley. And I'm Lourdes Duarte. Let's go straight to Demetrius Ivory with the latest on these conditions and also our first look at that forecast. Demetrius, what do you know? Yeah, and as you mentioned, yeah, of, of major cities, this is the worst air quality in the world. Uh, so what we're seeing across the area right now, very low visibility, down to a mile and a half for Waukegan, uh, down to only 1.7 miles O'Hare, two miles at Midway, and Bartlett is reading at 1.5 miles. Look at Aurora, one, and Kenosha. You know, the, the smoke is going to be uh, certainly most prevalent north of, uh, of Chicago because that's what we're seeing it, it, it come from. We're seeing poor air quality really all across this area of the uh, country, especially as you get into portions of Michigan and UP of Michigan also. All right, here's a look from Edgewater. You can't even make out downtown. That's how it's been throughout the entire day. Three Oaks Rec area also shows very low visibility. There's again that live shot from Edgewater. And finally, as you see the update there for Civil War Museum in Kenosha, we are continuing to see very poor air quality. The good news is that the air quality is going to improve as we get into the next couple days. 77 was the high temperature this afternoon. We are completely dry and expecting to stay dry today, tonight, but then tomorrow there's going to be a chance for rain. Coming up in the seven-day forecast, we are going to talk about an air mass change, better air quality. Also, we're going to be looking at the potential, I think, for showers and thunderstorms. Back to you, too. All right, Dee, thank you. And we do have team coverage on this today. Dana Rubick, there you see her. She's live on the museum campus with more Dana. And typically the Chicago skyline is much more clear to make out behind us when we do live shots from this location. But today you can see just how hazy it is caused, of course, as Demetrius mentioned, by these Canadian wildfires, which have been raging for weeks. But today has really been the worst of it here in Chicago. And today public health experts, along with Mayor Brandon Johnson, are urging people to uh, be aware of this poor elk air quality and keep themselves safe. We're just 50 points away from the maroon zone, which is everybody don't step outside. So currently, yes, what you're smelling, like this morning I also was going to work and I was like, oh, this is not just fog, this is smoke. Unhealthy levels of wildfire smoke blowing in from Canada, creating a dense haze across the Chicago area and the distinct smell of smoke in the air. I've been hearing about this more and more and I just... You know, it's just terrible. The air quality index is currently unhealthy for everyone, but especially those most vulnerable, including children and people with chronic lung diseases and heart conditions or who are pregnant. Wildfire smoke is made up of fine particles that can get deep into the lungs and trigger an inflammatory response in the body. Doctors say the level today is equivalent to smoking half a pack of cigarettes. Those who do spend time outside may notice some symptoms. It can be just some irritation, but it can also be something like lightheadedness, dizziness, especially again, if you have asthma or COPD, you might have an exacerbation of those symptoms. Experts say to turn on air purifiers, keep windows closed, wear an N95 mask outside, and avoid strenuous outdoor activities. Only when the humidity is up there, then it seems like it gets a little harder to breathe. I'm hoping it burns off today. This air quality alert is in effect until midnight tomorrow for uh, portions of the Chicago area as well as northwest Indiana. Evanston beaches closed today due to these conditions. Also, the Chicago Park District and Chicago Public Schools are moving all activities and camps indoors. Uh, public libraries as well as community centers are serving as places where people can go inside if they need uh, to get shelter. Live along the lakefront, Dana Rebick, WGN News. Thanks, Dana.